from the surgery. Yeah. And, you know, like you said, because I was supposed to be 100% paralyzed. Mm -hmm. And then the movement that I'm getting mm -hmm. in my face, he was like, he don't want to do nothing to interfere with that. Yeah. And then he went on to say, you know, with the severeness of my injury, I guess, that he wouldn't even recommend nobody touch it mm. to a year, a year and a half. And it's on the bin, um nine months. Uh, nine months, two days ago was my anniversary. Yeah. yeah, so it's only been nine months. So even if we did do mm. Dr. Cop, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah. That'll be three months on that line for a year. Yeah. And then yeah. nine months for a year and a half. So I guess we'll still just have to wait with. Why don't you keep an eye on it, say? I ain't, you ain't on my face now. Hmm? You ain't on my face. You ain't on my face. I'm alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. But you ain't tell me. I want you to say it again. Tell, tell the man what uh, you yeah. You just tell the story. Tell the story. So she, uh, you know, what? She is, she's the kind of miracle patient for me. So basically, she had a, she got a shot in the mid-face, mid-face ballistic injury. Fashion name was tagged. And I never thought your face would come back. Here it is. Yeah, you didn't think my face was going to come nah, back. No. You called you, me your miracle patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we had to take the operating room, but put a flap in there. And you surprised us all. You did great. Yeah, you had <laughs> these big surgeries planned. I had all these big plans, and you ruined them for me. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, we did good. You're doing great. Well, look, well, I'll get that study done to look at your look at your tear duct, and then if it looks like it's damaged and that's something that we need to work on, I'll get you sent to one of my partners. All right, we'll get that fixed for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. No worries. You have a great Christmas. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you gonna clip? You gonna clip? Tell, you gonna clip me? Mm -hmm. Do you both have something right, uh, or they can just call you? They just call. They just call. They can just call our department and we'll give them whatever letter they want. And if they're not comfortable, I'll send you to our dental guys. They'll fix it for you. Okay. Right. I just want to go to one of y'all dental guys. You want to go to our dental guys? They'll be on the safe side. Yeah, I'll send them to you. I'll get that sorted out for you, okay? Okay. All right, you can get out of here. Have a great Christmas. You too. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Happy New Year's. Kwanzaa. Toot, toot, toot. Ah. I wanted to send a record, y'all, because I was just coming to tell him what the um Danny said about the thing, but he had a, a little intern man with him or whatever. And he was just explaining that I was his miracle patient. And I was never supposed to do any of the things that I'm doing now. And his greatest thing was for me to smile. He said, smile. Smile, smile. And he said, I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she did it. So, that's what I wanted y'all to hear. That was it, basically, that I was the miracle patient that was supposed to be paralyzed with no movement and um, stuff. But y'all heard it. Y'all know where it is. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then, oh, yeah, and then his other thing was for me to squinch my eye. So, it was them was the major thing. So I love y'all. I just wanted y'all to hear that while we was at the doctor's office because we can't make this stuff up. This is real. And we serve a mighty, mighty God. And that's what he was saying. He was saying, how you live, get the movement. Well, it just got the movement. And so you heard me telling him about the um, doctor that could put the feeling in my face. But that doctor is, is almost scared to put the feeling in my face because it's a 50 50 chance that he can cause more damage than help them because I was never, I was supposed to be paralyzed. So if they go in and I'm messing with stuff, they might mess with the wrong thing and set me back when they are not the ones that set me forward. God set me forward, so there is no need for them to perform anything on me because they have not performed anything thus far. So we're going to keep continuing to trust and believe in God and let him 
do the healing process like we said from the beginning and yes he will do it so the dentist i mean so he just said that he would give me a medical clearance for the regular dentist to um pull my teeth but i told him to just go on, send me to that little specialist so they'll be more informed on what's going on with me but yes it's nobody but god god is good all the time, no matter what the situation may be, because y'all just heard him. I'm the miracle patient. My, I told him my eye was seen in the socket, but he did touch my ducts because I told him my eye be drained a lot. And since I'm hurt, oh, the now my blood pressure, it was a little too high, 140 over 100. But I don't know why my blood pressure be high, but I told him it might be because of my pain, because of my face and start hurting in my middle but he said it may not be the middle it might just it's my nerves and stuff working because like he said he had the thing remember the thing that came up at the casino that dropped out and i told y'all he had that in my face with my nerves wrapped around it so they could when they went back in they could know where my nerves were the store, the operations and stuff. But when I was at the casino, it just pushed itself out. God said he didn't need that mess to be in there messing with me. So he threw it out the way. Then he went on and kept closing up my home. Just like you said, I had all these big operations planned. They had me touch my face since I left the hospital. I only stayed in the hospital two weeks. And so with that... I share. Cut back. I'm so sick of you kidding the market with them joints. Them joints ain't running my blood pressure up. Y'all, you running my blood pressure up. Oh, I'm going to drink me a joint. But I don't know why the blood pressure going up. But I don't know. But God, and that's what I wanted to share with y'all. And happy, happy holidays. Merry, Merry Christmas. I had a good visit. Quick visit as always they never know what to do and never know what to say so i thank y'all and with that i share i just wanted to let y'all hear and especially for my new followers that ain't right just up to date on what's been going on because this is not an ordinary situation so i have to keep y'all informed and let y'all hear things for y'all self and so that's what I do. And we are at the doctor's office, not no living room. We don't play no game about God and what he's doing. So God has done everything for me. And you heard the man say that um, I was supposed to be having no N-O, no movement, but God. So thank y'all. The word for the day is never give up, no matter what the situation may look like. Don't put your trust in man, put your trust in God. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Stay positive, no matter what the situation. Oh, I got to tell y'all something, too. Stay positive. I've been saying no matter what the situation may be, stay positive and stay prayed for. Oh, I got on my hat, too. I ain't playing. Hold on. It go like this, too. Ah. Ah. I think it might be twisted, though. There you go. I ain't playing. It's cold out there. All right. Thank you. Yes, God said different when man said all this stuff. All this stuff. All them bitch surgeries. All taking veins from my Neck. So you finna open, you thought you finna open up my neck and put a vein over here so I can smile and get some movement in my mouth. Look like, look like action. We got action. And then when I chew, y'all see all that move. He said my teeth ain't lining up right, but I ain't worried about that, baby. They can get out. I I can say I ain't worried about no teeth, baby. I got life. I got breath. But y'all see that movement. 
So with that, I share. So God did all of this from a big old hole in my face to hold by DB stuffed with um them neuroform patches and stuff. Medicated neuroform and it and patches and stuff. Then I had to put the gauze on top of the stuff. It's been a long road, but we made it. God is good. We're still in the healing process, even though I make it look easy. I've been moving around a lot. I did have a few little things to talk about on my um, problem list, but it's nothing too big for God. So everything is well. Everything is good. And I love y'all.